welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the show. So, I got my comics for this week. And another light week for me, but I got some books. So, with that said, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications and send me some likes. So, first book I have is What If Miles Morales Becomes Wolverine? Now, I get the what if part of these books, but I don't like the fact that everyone he knows becomes someone else. Like, I just don't like that. Like, I understand he becomes Wolverine. I ain't fine. But do his uncle need to become Sabretooth? I mean, it's not that original, but at least though maybe it'll be like another person as Sabretooth, not someone he knows become bad guy. I ain't like that other story. Then I have Nocturra number nine. This is a continuation where Blacktop Bill joined the resistance and joined the good guys. So far, it's a good story. I think it's another chapter or another um story, so I'm going to give it to this end, then I might be done with this also. The next ones I have are Miles Morales Spider-Man 36 and 37. This is where he is jumping timelines. And he, he went to the Western time and he didn't met um, Ultimatum at the end of it. I'm enjoying the story so far. Way better than the um, What If, but... Can't go wrong with Miles Morales as Spider-Man. Sorry, just just that good. And then I have Moon Knight, and I have Variant Edition. This is number ten. I'm, I always enjoy Moon Knight, no matter what. So this right here, he is fighting his who is therapist? Yeah, his therapist. Forgot the story for a little bit. It turns out his therapist is working for Zodiac. And awesome. I didn't know that he had a villain just like Clayface. I never knew that. Good story here also. Then I have Hawk number five, Burning Edition. I like that, that he's peeking through the shade, the blinds. There's also another continuation of the story. Where he's fighting Spider-Man slash a Gamma Peter Parker. Also good. And I don't... I'm confused about one thing in this story. Like, is the Betty Ross in this thing supposed to be his father in another person's body or imagination? I can't... I'm just not following that part of the story. Then I have another old book that came out like maybe like a month and a half ago. I'm just getting it. It's Task Force Z number six. This is after you find out that Red Hood is working for Two Face, and Suicide Squad came and tried to fight him. And then we have Robin number twelve. This is after the battle. On Lazarus Island. And now he's fighting his type of demon. His demon actually. So yeah. It actually was good. Now. I told myself I was going to stop. At issue 10. But. I'm a Robin fan. Even if it's Damien. I'm, I'm going to read it until. I'm not liking it anymore. So. But that's the said. It might be a while before I put this book down. So. I don't know. But my pick of the week is Moon Knight number 10. Just because the story was awesome. Just him talking with his therapist, figuring things out as they talking. And then you then he flipped the switch. And then you realize he's a good detective also. Like, he just like Batman in every way that I thought he was. And when he, whew, 
what he did to that clay faced um, villain. I think his name is Mud, Mud Face or something like that. I think that's what his name was. How he put him in a box. That was just, that was cold. That that was cold. So yeah, this is my pick of the week. Moon Knight number ten. Moon Knight's awesome. Also go watch the TV show. So until next time, peace. And it's always fun in the doghouse. No. No.